A lot of people recently have sent me DMs asking for sport picks, for betting picks. And I do give picks sometimes on this podcast. But what I can tell you is betting uh, on Denver to cover the spread when they're playing a team on the second game of a back-to-back has a 750% winning percentage over the last 20 years. So you have a 75% chance of winning that bet. Um, that's a, a, a change that they're going to make to the NBA schedule next season. I believe Commissioner Penishead is eliminating back-to-backs. And he says, oh, it's to rest the players. But it's also because people have been making so much money betting against the team that's playing in a back-to-back. Uh, the same thing happened the other night at Oklahoma City. Uh, they played um, the second game of a back-to-back against the Lakers, and the Lakers etched out a win. And then the next game, Oklahoma City, uh, or the Lakers uh, – uh, then the next game, Oklahoma City. Yeah, excuse me. The Oklahoma City played the Lakers. And then the very next night, they play the Clippers. I don't know. Uh, I know the spread was Clippers by five and a half, but that was a bet that I would take Clippers uh, because you always want to bet against the team playing on the second game of a back to back. Speaking of Oklahoma City, we haven't seen them on ESPN power rankings. Um, I put their, them, they're definitely in the top five. They're